Welcome. We're going to talk about the able armrest before and after, how the guitar sounds. But first, a quick disclaimer. That being, there is talking in the video, although it is limited. If there is interest, I can record in my studio an AB demonstration. Right now I'm using the foam mic. I do have a microphone I can use if you want higher quality audio samples. There's no affiliation with Strings by Mail or Able Armrest, the company, whoever makes it. I just like it. See what you think. Uh, and finally, yes, it's comfortable and it protects your finish. All that stuff about armrest, ergonomic, whatever, that's great. Uh, but this video is about the sound. Um, and it's a little bit of my take, but I'm mostly letting you decide. First, no armrest. armrest on and tighten up that blade. Just as a brief interjection, that was the first thing I played when I got this. Uh, my wife and I both kind of went, hmm, that doesn't sound better, it sounds worse. Crap. Well, I thought about it, and I kept playing things with it, and it turned out that one song kind of benefited a little bit from having some muffling, just uh, jazz, some soundboard damp dampening, not jazz, blues, what are you talking about? Anyway, some blues benefited from the dampening, kind of give it more of a thud. Uh, as you'll see as I go on with a few more examples, it does benefit in the low mids. Uh, kind of, it clears up the mud. There's more punch, there's more dry woodiness in the mid range, and it has more open airness to it. That's what I find in this guitar. You can decide. And, uh, Let's keep moving through some examples. I'm just gonna go back to back, but I wanted to uh, at least touch on that briefly. to a pick. No armrest.
changing from a triangle to a jazz pick. And I'm gonna throw two examples together because this is the last one, you'll get the idea. Uh, if you wanna hear more, I can do more later. This is just basic, right? So let's do it. No armrest. Same last one with the armrest. This does raise the height of your elbow up a little bit, so if you've got a jumbo with a thick waist and a thick lower bow, it may kind of get your shoulder up higher than you want, and uh, I think that you would be able to just switch to the classical position. <laughs> I didn't get to play everything exactly the same. I was kind of rushing through the videos a little bit, so my pick, because I didn't always have the armrest in the right spot, may have been 
further back and sounding a little bit thinner. Um, but um, after about a week or two of playing, I've, I've been pleased with this. It's not the greatest material, but it's not the worst either. Um, it's super low profile. You really can't see it. And uh, it really opened my eyes up to uh, how much it makes a difference because on this instrument, I was complaining that it was too wet, not dry enough, not enough air, not enough punch, some low mids that were kind of muddy. And it seems to have changed the character of it a little bit, but that little bit is all that I needed. And, um, and this is Cocobolo, so it helped, Italian Spruce and Cocobolo. I just needed that little bit, a little bit extra help. And, um, you know, for anybody who cares, these strings are getting old. They're the Santa Cruz medium tension strings. And these were the, the blue chips. And I just realized I used the wrong pick. I always use a 35. That last one was a 60. So I'm going to end the video right now with uh, the armrest on with the jazz pick of the right thickness. Sorry about that. Quickly, and then a clip with the other one. 35, armrest. Let's take it off real quick. I'll show you how easy it is to get off. Screw it a little bit, move it, done. Alright, same thing. suspended off the soundboard. That doesn't seem practical to me. So if you're like me and you have bad technique and you want an easy fix, this has been working pretty well for me. Uh, this isn't a review though. It's just a sonic comparison. And if you want to hear more, let me know. Peace.